Hey everybody, you see those mountains back there with all that snow? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I happen to be out on an errand and so I'm stopping by on my way heading back west trying to make money on Uber Eats, Amazon Flex, Instacart, Grubhub, you name it. I need to go west. Here I am in Azusa and it's a beautiful area. High elevation, you can tell you're going uphill as you go that way. Did you know that there's a camping ground called Camp Williams up there? I've been there, it's really nice. You can't have fires, but there's a stream and a coin operated shower and a restaurant. So it's camping with style. Anyway, I digress. Hello, my name is Russ and I do this part time and I'm happy to share my key learnings with you so you can make more money doing food delivery and increase your earnings through tips and ratings. So let's get back on the road and see just how much money we can make as I head back home. I got one order, it was $7 from Carl's Jr. and I just dropped that off. It's about noon, so we should be getting the lunch rush. Let's get on the road, make some money, and head that way. I tell you what, being in a new area really takes you out of your comfort zone. But I'm glad that I'm doing this because you can earn money. I've already gotten two Uber Eats and I'm on an, a Grubhub order right now, $11 for six miles headed to the pickup. So don't get discouraged. I do realize when you step out of your comfort zone, you feel uncomfortable, but it's good to try new areas, especially since I happen to already be here. Might as well make some money and pay for that gas and also my earnings to get back home. We're headed for Jack in the Box. There it is. There in the distance, you can see the Miller Brewing. That's a huge brewery. And we're headed, this is largely an industrial area, as you can see, with housing behind. But look at this open area. And if it was a clear day, you could see the wonderful large mountains. But what I'm looking at is the traffic. You can see the drainage from the mountains in that huge river, all the runoff comes down there from the mountains. I tell you what, living in California, especially the Los Angeles area, I am not a fan of traffic at all. I'll do it if I have to, but I prefer not to. Can you imagine all the hours of your life you would get back each day if you didn't have to sit in traffic? We're headed towards Pasadena and Glendale. That's a good area to deliver. I've uh, done rideshare and food delivery out there before. So hopefully we'll pick up some orders as we pass through that area. And then what's nice is you're gonna get to see the scenic mountains once we get into those, at least on the edge of the mountains. All right, we got a Grubhub, this one Taco Bell, and it's almost a $10 delivery for like three miles. Look at those beautiful tall mountains back there, obscured by the haze. All right, so I don't wanna to get too dramatic, but look at this, Foothill Boulevard, that's because we are in the foothills, and you can feel it as you drive up this way how steep it is, but look how beautiful it is out here. Lots of nice houses, there's businesses down below, restaurants, there's lots of good food orders. So this is a good area to make some money. Let's head west and see if we get some more. Alrighty, headed back out of town. Traffic was really building up and I need to get home. So thankfully I did not get an order as I went through Pasadena, but we'll see if we get one going through Glendale and uh, you'll see the beautiful mountains here as we pass through on our way to greener pastures. When I did rideshare, I did do quite a few rides out here as well as food deliveries. So this is also a good area. There's some fresh haze for you there in the distance as we weave through the foothills. I think it's fair to speculate there's no food delivery orders out this way. So let's get to a more populated area. Is this an entrance? Is this by the guy room 23? Oh, okay, thank you. Traffic really started to build up, so I had to cut it off after the last order. But let's rewind. So I started off just doing a trip far away, and that ended, 
and then I did food delivery. I ended up doing two Uber Eats and three Grubhub orders. I earned a total of roughly $42, and so when you do the time, it was 11.30 to 2.30. That works out to $14 per hour. Now, hold up, right? 80 miles is what I drove. So if you times that by the IRS rate, that's 0.655. That actually works out to where I spent $52 using my car. So actually, I didn't make anything. But there's two ways of looking at this. Overall, if you're going to be driving somewhere anyway, you might as well do ride share and give rides as you go or do food delivery and at least have a chance of making some money. In this case, yeah, more than paid for my gas and it gave me a little money in my pocket. So when you take the earnings, $42, divide that by 80, that works out to 53 cents per mile. That's obviously really, really low. For several years now, I've been actively pursuing getting a much higher rate, well over a dollar for the dollars per mile. But in this case, I was out, I was available, it was good to earn some money. So by being in a new area, it was exciting because there's that, always that potential, I'm gonna make a lot of money. I wish I did, you know, I did five orders. What if they were all $20 orders each? I'd be so excited and saying, let's go back to the mountains and earn that money. But it ended up, it was a little bit slow. It is a Friday afternoon. It should have been busy for lunchtime, but it wasn't. Also, when I drive in LA, when I did rideshare, you pretty much have to be out of there by three o'clock unless you wanna get stuck in hours of traffic. And that was a concern today. It wasn't too bad but there was traffic, so I knew I needed to get out of there. If I lived in that area and I didn't have to leave, probably the earnings would be great. There were many nice restaurants, nice houses, beautiful areas, and obviously there were some more run-down areas too, but you just don't go there. So overall, for what I did, the money was good. It was a nice experiment. You know, normally I wouldn't just go drive somewhere else and try to earn money. Incidentally, I only had one order come up on Instacart, but it wasn't really worth it. So what can you learn from this? Should you just go out and randomly drive around and try to earn money? Not necessarily, but if you already have another thing that you're doing, why not earn some money while you're out in that area? And you might discover it's a good area that potentially would be good to go back to. So I'm really glad that you got to come along with me today and just see this experiment and earning money and seeing beautiful scenery as well. Up next, I have a video for you, another kind of road trip. This one is Amazon Flex, seeing beautiful ocean views, beautiful mountain views, and earning a lot of money. So I know you're gonna enjoy that. 